I didn't know about the disease meningococcal meningitis. I didn't know anything about the vaccine until I went to my family doctor the month before I went to college. And he said, you need these groups of vaccinations. However, I don't have the meningitis vaccination, so you should just go to the health center when you get on campus and get the vaccination. And odds are you won't even need it because it's such a rare disease. So I knew about it a month before I went to school. And of course, when I got to school, I was busy. I was having fun. It was my first year of college. The last thing that I'm thinking about is getting a vaccination at the health center. Um, I remember getting into the ambulance and my body just began to burn and it felt like literally something was eating me inside out. I was diagnosed with meningococcal meningitis. I spent three months in the hospital. I had 18 surgeries altogether. The loss of my left foot, my right was to follow a year and a half later. Three of my fingers and scar tissue on 40% of my body. Um, I had a 20% chance to live and I beat the odds. I immediately got motivated to be involved. I wanted to speak. I wanted to get the word out about vaccination. I wanted to get the word out about the signs and the symptoms. I wanted to tell other people that they didn't have to go through what my parents went through, what I went through, and everybody close to me went through, and that there's a vaccination for this disease. Lives can be saved.